Hello friend, this is Ramna. Today I will show a demo on how to split the input data in, in, in Excel sheet and load it, it into appropriate columns in SQL tables in a, using an exercise. So first I will show the data I have in Excel sheet. This is the data. Name and details are two columns there in Excel sheet. Name is properly there and when it comes to the details, it includes uh, everything, it includes the position, salary and address, all these details combinedly. Come and see the traditional uh, SQL table we have. The name, position, cell and address, everything is separated here. <coughs> so here, <coughs> name only separated, but position, uh, salary and address is the, um, combinedly displayed in the Excel sheet field. Now we want to separate each one and load it into the proper fields accordingly. So how can we do it? <coughs> this is my new package. So I am dragging my data flow task into the control pane. Double click to configure. So my input search is Excel sheet. So I am dragging the Excel show Excel source here. Double click. Here I am taking the new browse one and take the employee details is my Excel sheet name and now open OK. Now we select the sheet one. In my Excel sheet only one sheet is there. I am selecting that sheet. Columns, name and details only two columns is there. Click OK. So configuration has done successfully. When we want to separate the columns in the details columns, we have to use one transformation called um, data convert, sorry, uh, derived column. By writing expressions, we need to separate those those fields. So I am uh, I am taking the derived column. Double click. So first thing, everything is separated by um, a comma. First thing, we need to drag the details into, into expression column. So, then, we need to write the column name as position as a new column. Position. Now, in details column, we need to take some string, use some string functions called substring and uh, find string functions. What substring will, substring will do is uh, take three parameters including column name, start and length of the, in the term, um, string. I am taking the details of the column name and um, first from first onwards that means in details column from first to e, m onwards we need to take and for for what we need to search here here we need to search till comma next comma so in sql there is a char index to search any particular character from a string but if it is in comes to expressions in ssis we have one function called find string function find string function there, we need to find the the, the comma comma value or any expression you want. So, I want to set the comma in details. Details is the expression. Set the comma in, de in details. Comma. So, for first and in the source column, the details come field, there are three values are separated by two comma separated, two comma separated. So, I am searching for first comma, first comma here. So, you have to mention one and close it with other places. Yeah. Now, if you find to 
Well, the, your expression is correct or not? I am taking the multicast transformation to check what our expression is right or not. Uh, I am enabling the data viewer. So here I am giving the starting question. So if you see the manager and comma is also displayed in the position field but we don't want comma just we want position manager and vice president for that let's do some modifications and mention the minus one here okay now we again run the package yeah here the position is perfectly displayed. So I am stopping the now position from details. Now we want to separate the salary. Salary for that I already wrote some expression here. I am copying this expression and explaining after that. Derived column. The derived column and in the Second instance, I am taking this as a salary, salary, and we need to ch check one more time whether the salary is derived column, drag the salary from this side, and start the package again. Salary is separated again. Now, <coughs> the last field we, we need to separate here is the address uh, or location. For that, I am taking one more expression. I am explaining, don't worry, I am explaining. Mention it as a location, location, and click OK. Data viewer, drag the location from this side. OK, and if you run the package again. Location, salary, and position. Everything is separated. Everything is perfectly displayed. Now, if you see the code, how we can get uh, the expression? I am explaining now. First one, we already see that um, how to separate the position. This is the second one. Substring usually take three parameters. First one is its details column, and second one here. We need to uh, start push start question from where we know we need to searching for start question. Uh, we, we we want to search for from first comma onwards. That is <coughs> first comma onwards. That is five hundred first comma onwards. We, if you do not mention the plus one, it will include uh, come from comma onwards. So we don't we don't want comma just. We want from 500, 500 or 5 and 8 onwards, we need to want to search. For that, the, the entire thing we are considered as the start portion. And the second portion, the second is third parameter is the length. Length from which to, from, from which field to you want to length you have to mention. For that, I am using the fine string function again. Details and uh, I want to search for second occurrence and comma. In, in this field, there are two commas there. I am searching for fine string using the second occurrence. We have the second occurrence and divide it minus with the first occurrence. So, by this way, you have to write your expression. This is for getting the salary. And for third, for 
third one that is the address location we need to again the using the substring function and details with the first parameter and the, uh, what we need to search here from where we need to search we, we need to search from second comma onwards second comma onwards and uh, learn of the details learn of the details minus the second parameter that means total learn of the details minus the second second comma onwards second comma onwards we need to mention the that is also integer so here this is the form first parameter in substring and from then it, it comes to the up to three to this one is the second parameter this whole thing is the third parameter this is how you need to get the address location so <coughs> after designing this whole thing package we want to load it into the destination tables so for for viewing for staking purpose i am i am using this multi cast we need we need not use the multi cast we have the directly load the destination tables for that i am dragging the destination oledp destination into into the control pane into the control pane i am just uh, double click to configure new taking my server my database name sample and taking the sample database so my uh, column name is employee details go, go for mapping here we need to check the mapping proper mapping so in in, in derived column we made that as a, uh, salary and in address column we may made it as location okay. there is a problem in excel sheet excel sheet by default it supports the nvari care so uh, database schema is is in varchar type varchar data type see here everything is varchar that's why we are getting this error we need to add one more transformation in between excel source and derived column that is data conversion data conversion we need to add here the tables so here we need to take the str string with the that is to take the length and this one is str okay and convert this into this one and here one more thing we need to take is this is enter the thing we need to convert this is the unicode string dt wstr that is n varchar we need to convert into the varchar for that there is some functions string functions cast functions are there this is position position means dt str we need to use dt str so i mentioned this dt underscore str comma the length for position is 20 it's 20 yeah 20 and uh, one more thing is the uh, code is for sql code is 1252 so it automatically changed to dt str now in, while coming to salary salary it is the integer integer I am using the integer 4 bytes and integer for the DTI4. Converting the salary into DT underscore I4. I4, which is 4 bytes and integer. Now again, mm -hmm. we need to change it into DTSTR. For location also, it is address. Address it is 20. So we need to convert the data dt underscore str comma 20 comma 1252 is the code. 
SQL code. So this is how you need to make click OK and of course you need to go go to mappings. Uh, here you need to copy name here and salary position location salary salary. It's perfect. So, um, this is the workflow. First, we need to take the Excel sheet, Excel source, and afterward, we need to do some conversion of uh, data conversion from changing to N worker to uh, worker type. Afterwards, the variable. This is the tricky part. We, we need to write some expressions. For this, we need to write some expressions. I am pasting these uh, expressions in the description so that it will, it will be easy. Don't confuse, it will be very easy if you understand the substring function logic in SQL. So everything is fine. Afterwards, we need to um, mapping the variable destination. This is the workflow to to uh, to split the input data from Excel sheet. From Excel source and load it into the appropriate columns in a SQL table in SSS. Here we are using the data conversion and data transformation and along with expressions. So I am running the package now. See here, if it, all two rows are properly executed and loaded into the destination table. Go and check your tables. See, Rama Manager 500 and Hyderabad is the location. This is the input source. See here, input uh, Rama Manager and 500 and Hyderabad is there in just one column in Excel sheet. Now we separated uh, these values by, by substring and the find string and the len functions, and after that we converted the, uh, the data types into uh, relevant data, compatible data types in uh, SQL fields and run the package. This is how you need to uh, write the expressions and load the data according to. Sometimes, if it is one row and uh, two rows, you can directly insert into the tables. If you have multiple rows in the form of in this form, it is very difficult. If you got a number of rows in the same in the, in the similar way, it is very difficult to insert everything. That, that's why at the time that these expressions and this package is very much useful. Thanks for watching the video.